Hello and welcome. Our topic for the day is using tangent properties. To understand the properties of tangents, let's understand some theorems and properties about the tangents. A tangent to a circle is a line in the plane of the circle that intersects the circle in exactly one point. This is very important. If we see here, we are given a circle and the line that goes, that is, let's name it MN, it's touching the circle only at one point. So, MN is the tangent to the circle, while, let's name this O, OC is the radius. So, MN is a tangent, while OC is a radius. Now, there are some properties about the tangents that we need to see. If a line is tangent to a circle, it is perpendicular to the radius drawn at the point of tangency. Now, MN is a tangent and C is a point of tangency, that is the point at which it touches the circle. Now, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent, that is this angle over here is 90 degrees. So, this is one of the properties. Now, the second property is tangent segments to the circle from the same external point are congruent. Let's say this is an external point A and we have drawn two tangents AB and AC. Now as per this theorem, tangents drawn from the same point, from the same external point are congruent, that is AB is congruent to AC. Using these two properties, we'll be doing some questions. Let's proceed. The first is saying solve. We give in a circle. It says AE is a tangent to the circle with center C. Radius is 24 and DA equals to 1. So AE is a tangent. B is a point of tangency. B is the point of tangency. Also given the radius R equals to 24. When the radius is 24, that means CB is equal to CD equals to 24. If we see in the center C, CB and CD both are the radii. So this is 24, this is 24. AD is given to as 1. So AD equals to 1. Therefore, CA equals to CD plus DA that is 25. 24 plus 1, 25. CB is again the radius is 24. Now we have to find out BA. Using the first theorem we know that whenever a line is tangent to a circle then the radius is perpendicular to the tangent touching at the point of tangency. So now we have the right triangle ABC is a right angled triangle. We'll apply the Pythagorean theorem over here. That is the square of the hypotenuse that is AC squared equals to BC squared plus AB squared. So we'll plug in the values. AC is or CA is 25 squared equals to BC is 24 squared plus AB or BA squared. We have to find out. Now 25 squared is nothing but 625 equals to 24 squared is 576 plus BA squared. So subtracting 576 from both sides. 5 sorry 625 minus 576 equals to 49 equals to BA squared square rooting both sides we get BA equals to 7 this is our final answer can be seen in option B moving on to the next question it says solve here we are given a circle with center C E is an external point and tangents are drawn from here that is AE and BE are the two tangents. From the second property that we learnt that 
tangents drawn from an external point from the same external point are always congruent. So as per the theorem AE is congruent to BE. Now AE is 18 so therefore BE is also 18. This is the final answer. Can be seen in option C. Moving on to the next question. Solve. Here we given a circle and AE is a tangent to the circle with center C. Given the radius is 15, R equals to 15. So that means CB equals to 15 and CD is also equals to 15. DA is given to us as 10. We have to find out BA. So we know that whenever a line is tangent to the circle, radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So here we have the right angle triangle ABC. As per the Pythagorean theorem, AC squared equals to BC squared plus BA squared. Now AC is nothing but AD plus DC which is equals to 10 plus 15 equals to 25. So AC is 25 squared equals to BC is how much? Again it's given the radius that is 15 squared plus BA squared we have to find out. 25 squared is 625 equals to 15 squared is 225 plus BA squared. To find out the value of the BA we have to subtract 225 from both sides. So this cancels off. 625 minus 225 is a 400 equals to BA squared square rooting both sides we get BA equals to 20. This is our final answer and can be seen in option D. I hope using tangent properties is easy now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.